Hey YouTube. So I'm uploading this video because I want to show the progress of my crypt uh, Wenti propagation. You can see that all of these plants up front, there's new growth, that really light green in the middle of that plant is new growth. There's a new leaf on both of these plants here, and a shrimp on one of them. And even in the plants in the back of the tank back there, there's new growth, at least one leaf, and on the back right one there's two new leaves. So I was really worried, as you can see, I didn't stick these down in the gravel very far. The crowns are kind of a couple of centimeters or a fraction of an inch above the gravel. And so that had me a little worried because I know the crown is supposed to be pretty close to the gravel. I wasn't sure how well they'd do. I've been tempted throughout the week to try to replant them and push them down a little bit, but I decided to just let them go because I know that they prefer stability over anything changing. So their roots are growing now from this leftmost plant. It's throwing out a lot of roots and they're growing well. These plants over here, their roots are starting to get under the gravel again and everything's looking good. And even the wisteria here is throwing out tons of new roots. And you can see a new shoot's about to come up. The new shoot in the back on the wisteria that's grown up in the last couple of days. Here you can see the honey garami. It kind of bullies the shrimp a little bit. I tend to overfeed the tank <clears throat> so that the shrimp have something to eat. And the fish know this, and the honey garami has no interest in eating the shrimp, but it does know that they are often eating some of the leftover food that I throw in. So it'll chase away the shrimp to steal their food. I just make sure that I throw enough extra in that everything gets enough to eat. But I was very surprised that my crypts were so resilient and they're starting new growth already. I think I'm going to trim some of their browning leaves off next week. I'm going to let them grow for a while without any disturbance and then next week I'm going to go ahead and trim some leaves off. But you can see my wisteria jungle up here has become pretty impressive. I think I mentioned in my previous video, but I'd like to say it again. Ever since I've heavily planted this tank and this wisteria has taken off, my nitrates have consistently been zero. Uh, they would usually sit around 40 or 50 ppm, but now that I have well-growing plants and a heavily planted tank, my nitrates sit consistently down at zero. It's really impressive. I had no idea how big of a difference it could make, but... In a nano aquarium, it makes a lot of sense. You should always have a, a nutrient sponge plant to help keep algae down. I threw some of that wisteria you'll see in the video I just uploaded of my wife's 8-gallon glowfish tank. I threw in some trimmings of wisteria, and as soon as that took off in her tank, the algae problem started going away too. The honey garami is still my favorite creature in this tank. And if anybody still can, you know, comment and help identify if it's a male or a female, I would appreciate it.
Alright, thanks for watching, YouTube.